All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakwadash, that was our Ta'el, the Apostle of Great Millstone, that do it well. And salutations and blessings to you, I can just push his word with true sincerity and charity. All right, today we're just going to get, in, uh, get into this quick lesson. We're going to title it, These False Gods Can't Save You, man. All right? These so called gods, man, because they're not gods, man. All right, the only true power is Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, all these gods you serve, man. All right, whether it be uh, Buddha, all right, Allah. Uh, ish, uh, 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 um, you know, uh, Shazray Borgia, man. All these, hey, all these so called guys, man, they're gonna all lead you to a path of death, man. All right, because hey, Yahabah Shemal Shah is the power, man. So, this is, hey, I'm gonna start with this. Second Ezra chapter 1, verse uh, 4 says, The word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Go thy way and show my people their seeds indeed. All right, hey, man, that's what we're doing, man. All right, hey, we just left the land. All right, we, we were prophesying unto our people, man. All right, but hey, they don't want to hear it, man. But hey, at the end of the day, we're still doing our job, man. All right, showing our people their sinful deeds, man. And it says, their children, their wickedness, which they have done against me, that uh, that they may tell their children, their children, children, because the sins of, of their fathers are increased in them, for they have forgotten me and have offered unto strange gods. All right, man. Because hey, the Lord is the one. Hey, verse seven. I. It says, am not I even he that brought them out of the land of Egypt? So, hey, the Lord is the one that has always been on our side, man. All right, the one who has always been delivering us up out of these jams, man. All right, hey, hey, slavery out the slavery. Who, who has came and, and saved us, man? Hey, it was Yahweh Hashem al no other guy, man. You know? <laughs> hey, hey, in, in the book of Judges, man, all right, when our people went off, man, the Lord jacked our ass up, all right, and we cried unto him. Who saved us? Him, man. All right, it was those guys that we were crying out to because they're nothing but idols, man. You know, so hey, it says, um, from the house of bondage, but they have provoked me unto wrath and despised my counsels. Pull, pull thou off then, then the hair of, of, yeah, of thy head and cast all evil upon them, for they have not been obedient unto my law, but it is a rebellious people. All right, man, then when you read Isaiah the 30th chapter, man, all right, hey, hey, it says, uh, note and write in the book, man, that this is a rebellious people, man. All right, because AIP, I've always been stiff neck and, and hard headed niggas, man. You know, serving other guys, man. Uh, this is uh, Psalms 96 and 4. It says, For Yahweh is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. Yep. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. And that's right. Our Lord, our power, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, He made the oceans, He made the heavens, He made the earth, He made the mountains. He made the stars and everything in there that is there in. But what do our people do? You know, just like if you read in, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure Second Kings, that our people were, were uh, worshiping the the host of heaven and the, uh, the host of heaven and the planets. Yep. You know, and, and none of those things can save us or deliver us or give us uh, any great things, any any good things. But the Lord, He can. He's supposed to be feared above all other gods. He made the heavens. He made all the all the things that you see before your eyes. The fact that you e even could see and perceive and speak and understand certain things is because of the Lord as well. You know, yep. He made all these things. You know, that's why you're supposed to fear the Most High, because he, He's everything. You know. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey it's good to say that uh, His His incorruptible Spirit is in all things. All right. Yeah. Hey, without Yahweh Hashem Al Shad, nothing would be working, man. All right. The all right. sky, the sky wouldn't rain. Uh, the sky wouldn't rain water. It wouldn't rain snow. All right, the, the, the ants wouldn't uh, uh, do the things that they do, man. Right. All right, the bees, nothing, man. Nothing would co cooperate if it wasn't for Yahweh Bashem al Because he is, man. Right. He is. These these other guys are nothing, man. Hey, just to back to Brother Gadashi up about the power of the Lord and why, why we should fear him, Ecclesiastes 1920, you know. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom, and all wisdom is the performance of the law, all right, which is the doctrine of life and the knowledge of his omnipotency, all right? Because mm -hmm. right. you begin to understand the fear of the Lord is still... Why is this thing to do? Because when you do his doctrine of life and you practice that, which he gave to Jacob, that's our success. Yeah. You know? Yep. And, um, yep. What's that? Uh, Joshua 1 verse 8, man. Uh, hey, that's the only way to be successful in this world, man. I got something about the, uh, the false idols. Oh, Kashai. Uh, what's that? Uh, Psalms 115? I'm a, Psalms 106. Oh, okay, kind. Yeah, that's good. Psalms 106 verse 34. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. All right, so that's how people learn the works of the heathen. All right, disregarding our heritage, the laws, such and commandments. All right, uh, commandments, which is our uh, doctrine, the doctrine of life. All right, 
the Lord gave to us. What, what you said it was again? Uh, Psalms 106. Oh, 34. 34. Okay, calm. Should I start again? No, no, no you got it. Uh, verse uh, 36. And they served the idols, which were a snare unto them. All right? So, Khan, you know, serving the other false gods, it, it, it's no substance there. You know, there's no substance. The Lord, he made the heavens and the earth, all right? And all the things they're in. The scriptures say he omnipotent, all right? Once again. God, you know, to back this brother up, you know, how he said that the fear of the Lord, that's that's a perfection of wisdom and, and so on and so forth. It, in Psalms 37 and 4, it says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. So just imagine that, man, to serve the Lord, and he's going to give you the desires of your heart. And guess what? He knows us better than we know ourselves. What power, what other power could you possibly imagine of, imagine, uh, uh, imagine that could do that? You know, I don't, I don't see no Buddha answering prayers. Nope. I don't see no Krishna answering prayers. I don't see no, uh, 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 you know, all these other false gods answering prayers. You know? Yeah, hey, hey, because they can't, man. All right? Hey, it tells you that uh, Psalms 115, they can't. They, they, they can do nothing, man. They're nothing but wood and stone, man. I was about to say that. They just wood and stone. <laughs> They're nothing. They, 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 they can't do shit, man. All right, just like when you read Jeremiah, the uh, 10th chapter, right? All right, speaks of uh, what you people so-called call Christmas, right? All right, said that they decked the tree with silver and gold. All right, but it said that, silver, uh, that, that the tree, uh, 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 um, do, uh, hey, I'm going to just grab it, man. Cause that, that's another thing of going into uh, serving false gods, man. Yeah, because when you put that that present up under that tree, you bowing down to that tree, man. All right, serving it. So this is uh, Jeremiah chapter ten verse one it says, "Hear ye the hear, uh, yeah, hear ye the word which Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Thus said Yahweh, learn not, uh, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them." All right, man, because, hey, we, we should know what the sands of heaven are, man. All right, the Lord has already uh, told us these things, man. All right, the chariots, uh, 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 um, the sun and the moon, man. All right, for uh, uh, um, uh, time periods, man, you know. But when the, but when the heathens, they see the chariots and they see all these things, man, they, they, they get uh, dismayed at them, man. All right, we're not supposed to follow uh, the ways of the heathens, man. Right. So it says, for the, for the customs of the people are vain. For one cut a tree out of the forest. Uh, the the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck they deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that that it move not. They are upright as a palm tree, but they speak not. <laughs> that uh, it says they must need they must needs be born because they cannot go. Uh, be be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither also is it in them to do good. So amen. They can do nothing, man. Or right, they have no mind. All right, they have they have nothing in them but uh, what your about Shemal Shah put put in them, man. All right, and that's to uh, push out oxygen onto us, man. All right, that's it. All right, you sitting down worshiping a, a fucking tree, man. That has no 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 understanding. It has nothing over you, man. It cannot kill you. All right, it it, it, it shouldn't be feared, man, because it can't do anything. But your about Shemal Shah should be feared, man. Right. You no, know? like the brother just read in that uh, uh was that the book of Sirach, man. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, Ecclesiastes 19:20. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, fear the Lord. Yeah, yeah, because that's the only one we should fear, man. Because he's the only one who, who can do something onto us, man. All right. Uh, add on to the brother said that the heathen get dismayed at the signs of heaven. Not only do they get dismayed at that, but the scriptures also say that the name of the Lord is dreadful among the heathens. Huh? So they, man, e even the heathens, you know, they they they're they're terrified of the Lord. Yeah. They're terrified of the things that he could do. That's why they kept. That's why they didn't tell us that we're Israelites. That's why when you go into that uh, Revelation 11, they kept us in that dead state by not telling us who we were. They let us be, uh, 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 you know, in our in our basically, you know, be in our dead state. You know, yeah. Because uh, they know that if we wake up to this truth, it's over. That's their ass right there. You know, yep. even in the book of Judith, uh, you there know, you it talks about how Judah fat. Uh, yeah, how if we're in our sins, then uh, the Lord is not with us, but. If those people be good with the Lord, then uh, it's better for us not to even touch them, you know? It's roughly paraphrasing, you know? So, man, even the heathens, they're scared of us waking up. Yeah, Bible you know? sure. Hey, yeah, that, that's that's a good precept. Yeah, we're going to get that. God. It's uh, 17. God. Judah chapter 5, verse 17. Yep. And whilst they sin, not before their power, they prosper. God, do 
Because that's the doctrine. That's the doctrine of life. The law of church commands. Yeah, what's right? that? Uh, Joshua 1 8. Which is the wisdom. So you got a whole nation like that, you know? Yeah. They prospered because the, the power that hateth iniquity was with them. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles, very sore, and were led captives into a land that was not theirs. And the temple of their power was cast to the ground, and their cities were taken by the enemies. Yep. So yeah, man. Hey, so so when we weren't serving our power, man. All right, we we we, we inside of captivity. All right, you see, a hey, we are captivity, man. Or our land is not our land anymore, man. All right, our land is taken over by homosexuals, man. All right, those that don't serve you, how about you, man? man, profane uh, nations of people, man. You know, because we didn't serve the Lord, man. Right. That's what happens, man. All right, because he is the power, man. He is the one that can put you in, in, inside a good estate. All right, where you living. All right, you, you, you're, you're uh, flourishing, man. Or he can fuck your ass up and put you inside of Babylon and great. Up under the, the worst uh, 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 slave mess you could ever have. Esau, Edom, man. And that's where we at right now. Because we want to serve false gods, man. All right, hey, as soon as we got up out of Egypt, uh, we, we, we went and made a golden calf, man. All right, right. and worship that shit, bro. Okay. You know? That's Which, what the Salaki friends wrote him, but that's what the whole uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 is about. The curses and the blessings that would happen if we would serve Yahweh, and the curses that would happen if we didn't serve Yahweh, right? You wanna... Come on, go yeah, ahead. This yeah. is Deuteronomy 28 and 48. It says, Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Yeah. And that's one of the curses that would fall on our people. You know, we're serving our own people. And not only that, but we lost who we were. That's Jeremiah 17 and 4. It says that uh, you will serve your enemies in a land that you uh, know not. Yeah. And why? Because we decided to go uh, uh, serve other gods. Damn. You know, we decided to uh, break the law, statutes, and commandments that our power gave us. And no other nation had those uh, commandments except us. That's, That's one, right. uh, Psalms 147 and 19. That's right. You know, so us going off, that, that was our ass from the beginning, bro. We went off and now the, we're getting judged and now we're complaining. Yes. Why? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Damn. Man, you know why it's happening deep down. We, we betrayed our Lord. Yeah. You know, we betrayed our power. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, a lot, a lot of you jakes know, man. All right, because, hey, like the scripture say, uh, we have a zeal, but not according to knowledge, man. Right. All right? Hey, hey, they know, man, because, hey, uh, back back in the world, man, all right, me and my grandma, we would have conversations, and she would be like, man, why, why, why is this happening to us? You know, what, what do we do? All right, what do we do to God? What happened? You know, and then now I'm coming to the shoof, and I'm like, damn, it really was the most high. You know, we really okay. sinned against the Lord, and he fucked us up. So our people, our, our people have a zeal, but not according to knowledge, man. You know, they can feel they can feel the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shah. God, I have that wisdom, Solomon 14 and 22. They say, moreover, this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of Yahweh, but or else they lived in the great war of ignorance. Yep. God, that's how people right now to this day. They in the great war of ignorance, all right? Let's continue reading. Those so great plays called a peace. They still doing that with all the other false doctrines, all right? Going every each and other way. For whilst they slew their children and sacrifices or used ceremonies or made revelings of strange rites, they kept neither lives nor marriages any longer to fail, but either one slew another treacherously or grieved him by adultery. Yeah. All right, so that's all going off. Lean to our own understanding, all right? Uh, going to these idols, all right? Worshiping these idols, all right? Getting away from the doctrine of life, you know, going to sin, which is how we die and come to not, you know? Yep. And that's how we get to this point. Yeah, that's right, bro. Hey. And I'm going to grab this. Because, hey, man, I people want to serve these false gods, man, and, and, and serve this world, man. All right, but, hey, it's not going to bring you any benefits, man. This is uh, Psalms 115, and uh, I'll just straight to the point, verse 4. It says, their, it says, their idols are, yeah, their idols are silver and gold, the work of man's hand, man's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. Ears have they, but they hear not. Noses have they, but they smell not. They have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they, uh, but they walk not. Neither speak they through their throat. All right. So, hey, man, all these heathens, hey, all these uh, heathen gods that you worship, man, they are they, they are nothing, man. Are they nothing but wood and stone? They're idols, man. Are they not Yahweh Shemel Shah, man? They're not the true power, man. You know? So, hey, at the end of the day, you serving these false gods, they're all going to lead you to a path of death, man. Right. And this is a wisdom of Solomon.